So here we are today in the King Valley at Whitfield, adjacent to the Gentilani Caravan Park, where we've been working on the King River for fish habitat as part of the King River Habitat Enhancement Program. Five years ago we were talking to Andrew Briggs and um, he put it in our minds to put in for a fishing grant application for habitat restoration. Did a lot of work on it and got it. So the need for this program came about after the uh, extensive drought years, uh, bushfires and floods in the King Valley, which had severely damaged the fish habitat in the river and fish numbers were very low um, of both trout and uh, native species. And so there was a recognised need to do something to return some deep water habitats into the river to create some cold water, some uh, refuge in high times of high flow and just generally get the fish numbers back up again. The King River is one of the two fastest moving or uh, most active rivers in the state. It falls so much in a short distance, it's a very moving river. By putting these um, habitat items in, in the river, it helps slow the river down a little bit without blocking it and it's always been a, a renowned trout fishery. So this project has delivered works in two main uh, reaches of the river, one here near upstream and downstream of uh, Genelani Caravan Park and the other areas up near Chess Hunt, um, just downstream of the town. These areas were selected so that they're uh, easily accessible by recreational fishers um, and people can come in and fish on the habitat that we've created, um, as well as see how the types of activities that can be done to improve habitat. The works were done over three main years in, in, in three separate works programs. That allowed us over time to create some habitat and then see how it performed and then adapt our approach if we needed to as the project rolled on. King is renowned for being a, a trout habitat. The protocols now is the, the Murray Cod are coming up from the ovens. Um, beautiful clean fish in the clean water, they're adapting to a totally different environment. Um, we're getting blackfish back in the river, which three or four years ago you wouldn't, wouldn't get a blackfish at all. So over the lifetime of the project, we've placed upwards of 60 large granite boulders, over 250 large hardwood trees, 750 native trees and shrubs, 